Hey guys, it's Steve, aka Dig Dat Zero, uh, with Fly Fly Drones. I've done a lot of uh, how-to videos for you guys over the time. Uh, I wanted to do an updated, revised video on doing the the dual battery mod. So, wanted to talk a little bit about the dual battery mod and talk you guys through doing the process. So, this is my uh, my orange Mavic Pro. You can see we've got the two XT60 leads here. Um, we use those to hook up some external batteries. Um, this one is a Multistar 4000. We use the, the dual lock there and we attach it to the other side. We could do dual batteries. I've done the, uh, the 3000s. Um, but yeah, we're gonna talk uh, a little bit about uh, opening up the Mavic and installing these XT60 dual batteries. Um, so I've got a, a stock Mavic here. Um, this one's untouched. It's actually brand new. Just activated it last night. Did the, um, the firmware rollback and did the modding. Uh, so now we're going to do the dual battery mod. Um, so before we get going, um, you know, do this at your your own caution. Um, definitely set aside some time. Now this video will probably go pretty quick. Um, I've done this about 20, 25 times now, so very familiar with it. Um, but for you guys that are doing this the first time, you know, take your time. You don't want to screw anything up. Uh, slow is good. So uh, really quick, uh, we'll go over a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need solder, some duct tape. I like some uh, liquid electrical tape. Um, I use some epoxy to glue the, uh, the wires in on the inside. We're going to use a 1.5 millimeter uh, wrench. I've got some wire strippers, got some needle nose pliers. Um, I like these bend ones. I'm going to hold the soldering points with this as I solder. I've got some wire clippers. I've got some XT60 leads. The only thing I'm not going to show you in this video is um, the shrink wrap on here. I did that beforehand. I'm sorry about that. I basically just put some, some shrink tube on it and, and heated it up. Uh, I do this so that it protects it coming out the hole um, so it doesn't you know rip up the, the, the wires or anything. I got some tweezers, got a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, I got a handy scissors uh, to be able to cut my tape with. And I've also got my soldering station uh, and I've got a Dremel. And so those are all the, the different tools that we're gonna need to, to do this. I got some flux in the back there. Um, it's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, basically, you're going to unfold the arms. Uh, there's six screws on the top here. You're going to do the six screws. You're going to flip it over and take this off. Uh, there's a screw here, screw here, screw here, screw here. Take those panels off. Two more screws. Uh, take those out. And then we can pop the top off. We can get into the inside and we can do some of the, um, the electrical stuff. So this is fairly simple, um, but it does require in some um, splicing of the main power wires and it also has us soldering wires in as well as cutting out part of our our shell and so if you're not prepared to do that today then just kick back and watch um, you know last time I got a lot of uh, critique around different things so I'm trying to make this video a little bit better uh, so that we protect things along the way and we really teach the good fundamentals Hopefully I learn how to um, solder a little bit better along the way as well. So, hey, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. So here's the, uh, the new dual battery mod how to. Okay. With your Mavic, uh, remove the battery, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, start by unfolding the arms. So go ahead and fold out the front two arms, fold out the back two arms. Now, if you look here on the Mavic, we're gonna have six screws we're gonna do. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six screws on the top here. Uh, I want to make sure that I always catch them in something, so I grab a little glass bowl. We got those six screws on the top. Now let's flip it over to the bottom. Go ahead and take off the, uh, the gimbal protector. You can leave the gimbal lock on. You're gonna see four screws. One, two, three, four. If you look on this one right here, 
can see there's a little bit of glue. We'll use our tweezers to, uh, to pop that glue off before we move it to a screw. And then as you, um, as you pull these four screws off, I'll set these aside, take notice of the length of them. We're gonna end up with, um, with two screws. They're gonna be just a little bit different in length. The shorter screws go to the panel. And so remember, shorter screws go to the panel. And so when you go to put things back together, you wanna make sure that you get things right. We're just gonna quickly take out these other two. Here I've got that little bit of glue. Just gonna pull that off. You can actually put that back in afterwards. I'm assuming that if you're doing this dual battery mod, you're probably not too worried about your uh, your DJI warranty. Okay. Next, you want to take your little tweezers, put it in the little thing right here. Just pop it up. It'll just pop right up. It'll come right off use too much force. You can see that just comes right off. Now you see under the flap here, there's one screw here, one screw here. Go ahead and take both of those screws out as well. Okay, you've taken off all the screws. Now we're gonna flip it over and take the top off. Okay, now that you've got all the screws removed, we're gonna flip it back over, we're gonna take the top off. Uh, before we do, I want you to look inside of kind of the little, the little battery compartment. If you look very closely right here, we've got a couple little holes. We've got those on each side of the shell. Basically you wanna take a, I don't know, your 1.5 millimeter or a little screwdriver, just push those in. Those are little tabs, and this will make getting the, the shell off a little bit easier. Let's see if I can zoom in on this one. You can see those tabs. Just get it in there. Just give it a little bit of push. And as I'm doing that, I can kind of feel it coming off here. That'll make it a little bit easier. Okay, so taking the, the top off is actually really, really simple and straightforward. You want to do it firmly yet gently. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start on the back here. And basically, you can see it's already kind of coming up. I'm just going to give it a pull. And it should pop up. You'll kind of see here, this is where we, uh, we push those little tabs out, right in here. On the other side, so that'll come out. And again, make sure that you've taken out all of the screws, otherwise the uh, the front part won't come out. So just kind of hold the body in, and then gently do what you can to uh, just work the edges up, and it should just just kind of unpop. There it is. And you'll notice that the uh, the GPS here it'll come out as well. So go ahead and take that, set that aside. We're not going to need that for now. And we've got the uh, the Mavic open. Okay, so there's a couple things we want to take a look at here. Let's see if I can zoom in here real good. Okay, so from the inside here, kind of top down, these are the different um, ribbons for the sensors and the camera. We're actually going to take this one off, this one off, and we're going to unplug this. And those should be pretty easy. And um, just pull this one up. Uh, for this one, I'm going to put the tweezers under the edge and just gently pop it up, pop it up. And then I'm going to tape these off to the side so they don't get in the way. We're going to end up running our, uh, our wires through here. And then you can see here, we've got the, um, the white and the black. We're going to uh, basically tap into these. Well, I like to tap into these because it's, it's less wire. And then you can see the fan back there, uh, less obstruction on the fan. Um, you can also do it to these two points here if you want. Um, 
And actually what we'll, this area, what we'll end up doing is we'll do one of them from here and then the other one from here. Um, and that'll make things uh, a lot easier and a lot, a lot of room. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab this little wire here. I'm just gonna pull it up, kind of just put it to the side for right now. Want to get this off right here, so I'm just going to gently take the, uh, the edge of my tweezers and just kind of pop it up on the edge. It shouldn't take a whole lot, just kind of gently pop it up there. And now, the, uh, the whole reason that I got some tape was I want to make sure that I keep these ribbons nice and protected. We don't want to have any problems. In the, uh, the last video that I did, got some comments that uh, some people were nervous with how close we were getting to um, to those so I want to make sure that we take the the right precautions so I'm just gonna go ahead and tape these down I'm just gonna use some uh, some electrical tape get these just Okay, so the uh, the next thing that I like to do is we're gonna take off the battery connector here. Um, we're gonna get our tweezers, and you'll see there's a little black thing on here. So I like to get this corner by the connector because it's already separated. And get under there, and just kind of gently pry it out. It's really easy to rip this in two. See if I can not rip it onto into on the, the camera here. If you're using pointy tweezers, be careful. This is probably where I could grab it. You can see I ripped it. Ripped it right there. That's okay. It's a sticker basically on the back side, so. that up. Now we have access to these three screws. <clears throat> One, two, three. So we're going to take out all three of the screws by Phillips screwdriver. Okay, and the reason that we're taking this up is twofold. Uh, One, so that we can access the lines, so that we can splice it. So we can take that off now. And then the other is so that we can access these. So we're gonna end up cutting that out. We're gonna cut that out. So that's where the Dremel comes in. Um, it's not too hard, you just wanna make sure that you have, a, uh, again, a steady hand. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tape this down as well. Okay, now that we've got everything taped in, I'm gonna get you a, a real close view here. I want you to look. We're gonna drill through right here. We're gonna drill through right here. If you look closely in here, it's got a little round thing already, a little round kind of thing in the plastic part of the uh, the mold. That's gonna be kind of your, your, your spot that you're gonna want to to drill through. Uh, I use a Dremel, some people use a drill, um, whatever you're most comfortable with. The goal is to make a hole that these two wires can fit through. Um, so it's gotta be oblong a little bit, not necessarily perfectly round. Um, and then you wanna have it so that this can fit in as well. So that's gotta, that's gotta fit in through it. Okay, before we do anything, get these little uh, little rubber grommets off. We don't want those to shoot away there, like almost like little rubber bands. Okay, so I'm gonna Dremel, and I'm gonna take out this, and I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get this down here, 
And I also lately like to take out part of this. That's optional. It's a higher degree of risk since you're going right by the compass line. So be super freaking careful on that. Here now. Okay, that's probably the most nerve-wracking part. So <clears throat> what I do now is uh, clean up the holes. You're gonna have some little <sighs> plastic shards, a little bit here and there. <sighs> I'll, uh, I'll get my air compressor here and I'll blow this out really good as well. I'll, I'll clean it up. Okay, I got it cleaned up <clears throat> and made the holes just a little bit bigger. Um, still got a little plastic cleanup on that one. Going back. Pretty much we got it all cleaned up. Uh, so I just want to do a, a test fit. So we're going to test fit these in the holes. They should fit snugly. 
again you can kind of see my holes are a little more oval oblong uh, and you want them to fit in there nice and good like that um, you can either have them long you can have them short whatever your preference is I like them shorter uh, but enough to be able to to bend so that's a um, that's a good spot right there so now do a test fit on your lines so go ahead and run them down and you'll see how they fit should be able to go through that area now that you just uh, dribbled some stuff out of push down there and it should fit you know just like that the idea is to get it under the edge of the battery board when the battery board goes back on that is that's this thing so give those two a good push down there there's the camera view can you see here Here's my holes. I'm gonna end up putting some epoxy in there and gluing them. But then you can see my lines coming down. Nice and snug. Nice and snug in here. If I uh... I were to take the battery board off, you can see the battery board needs to go over it so they're not coming on the top. So you're gonna run them down the sides. These two, we're gonna end up going here and here. These two, we're going to uh, split into that. So that, that's how it's gonna go. Okay, so the next step is gonna to be to splice into these lines. Um, and so the white's gonna be positive, that'll match up to your red. And then the black is going to be your, uh, your negative. That's going to match up to the black. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cut basically a little notch out of each of these that we can solder this onto. Um, and then we're going to shorten these lines, solder up the end, and then we're going to solder to that. And then we'll put some, uh, some liquid electric tape on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a little tiny bit just in the plastic, or the line. Sideways. And basically we just want to get a little exposed area. that I've gotten kind of cut out. So grab my tweezers, grab my new nose pliers. Got my chunk out. So that's what we need. I need an exposed spot on the wire. I'll solder too. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, the other one right here as well. I don't put these um, parallel to each other. I stagger them just a little bit. Um, it makes the process for putting on the, the liquid tape a lot easier, actually. Do your best to not cut into the, uh, the braided line inside. Just get a little bit of the rubber off. Hit this one under the line a little bit, that's okay. We're gonna end up soldering it anyway. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, uh, you should have your uh, your soldering iron hot at this point, hopefully. Okay, we're just gonna tack up these two spots. Uh, just a little bit of solder on, on each of those spots that we just uh, got the shielding away on them. So you got a little good solder spot right there. Do 
Do your best to uh, not breathe this stuff in. Red one's on the bottom, so we're gonna do that one first. It's also the uh, the closest, so basically we're going to mock it up, and then we're gonna cut it. So that's how long I need that wire to be. So I'm gonna cut this right there. Very end of the wire. Tack this up. This is where your needle nose pliers come in. Pull it down where it should be. Pull it onto that other solder. Just get your soldering iron in between the two. And just melt those things together. Nice good solder. There we go. So we're gonna do the same thing for the uh, the other wire. So get it down in place. Over here. Short note. Your needle nose pliers out. I like these, uh, these curved ones. See it right there? Just soldering iron down in between there. Melt those together. Hold it. Sweet. Now you should have two well soldered things there. Should be able to withstand a good tug. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and flip this back up. And we're actually gonna put these uh, Phillips screws back in. We only really need two of them because we're going to actually um, take this off again. So, get your Phillips screwdriver. I know I didn't put those black rubber grommets underneath. We'll get those. We're going to take this back apart once more. Uh, when we go to do the liquid electrical tape. And at that point, I'm going to put everything back together right uh, once we let it dry. Everything. Okay, now, so we're going to solder the other two lines onto these two. So, um, 
what I like to do before I start, put my solder and iron just uh, kind of preheat these. Um, each of them, just get them to the point where you can kind of get through the, the glue that's on there. I also like to add just a little bit of solder on it so I just have a little bit of material to work with. That always makes it a lot easier. Uh, so again, what we're gonna do, and actually on this one, you can see here I've got this little wire. I'm gonna go ahead and go behind it. Just be careful with that. That's the uh, the battery ground wire, or sorry, that's what gets the volts. Uh, so be careful with that. So we're gonna just measure this. I'm gonna go right about here. And just turn up the end a little bit. Turn it up right, they should just pretty much melt together. All right, <clears throat> got a good solder on that. Now we're gonna do the same for the ground wire, the black one here. I'm gonna like to uh, slip it behind. Fire, being careful. And you want to be careful with your wires so they're not too long, but again, not too short. Um, you want them to fit, but not obstruct the fan and you want them to fit behind the, uh, the case. up the end of this. It's hard to solder and camera at the same time. Right. Hopefully the camera can see that shot. Okay, now we're going to take those Phillips back out. And we're gonna do a little bit of uh, just liquid, liquid electric tape. You can do regular electric tape as well. Um, it's a little bit bulky. Uh, we only need to do just a couple spots actually. Um, so we're just gonna take out the uh, the Phillips. 
see right here we've got our two uh, two spots. I've got liquid electric tape and a paintbrush. Last time when you guys said, hey, use a paintbrush. So we're using a paintbrush this time. So I'm gonna tape this down. A little bit of liquid electric tape. We're just gonna cover these solder spots. The whole idea of the paintbrush is to make it nice and easy um, where you can just get those specific spots. If you have uh, fresh electric tape, it definitely helps. So you can kind of see there, just uh, covering those solder spots is really the, the goal. So I double checked and the wires do not rub on the fan or anything, which is a good sign. So we're going to put it back over. We're gonna get um, the little rubber grommets. And all of the Phillips. And we're gonna start to put this back together a little bit. <clears throat> These little black grommets back on. Here's a, a little anti-vibration type boards back in place Okay, next we're gonna put just a little dab of uh, electric, liquid electric tape. Right here, Let's cover the solder. I like to do these ones as well. I actually like to get in between and make sure that we're not gonna get an arc or anything. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of epoxy uh, on the inside where the wires go out. So I mixed up some epoxy. Uh, this flex set epoxy is non-sag epoxy. Uh, works really well, it holds really well. Um, doesn't add any weight really. Um, and it works just, just fantastic. So I mixed up some epoxy. Uh, hopefully we can get a good shot here. So I'm gonna try to go inside basically uh, where we glued these in you can see in there and we're going to get some epoxy in there to help just hold the wire in place so spread your epoxy half and half so don't be shy get it in there and the idea that i'm working on right now is um, i just want to add some support, you know, so I'm just kind of poking it down around the, uh, the thing there. <clears throat> uh, feel free to have a paper towel or a rag by to clean up any, any residual. I've done this for probably the last, uh, I don't know, 10 Mavics or so that I've had and it really helps. I really like it. Again, it's a um, completely optional step. Don't have to do it. You guys will probably, some of you will bust my chops. Um, but I really think that it helps because what happens is this is gonna bond with the, um, 
the wire with the plastic on the inside. It's gonna have a nice set. And so when you go and you put batteries in or out, and do your best to not, not drizzle like that. Keep it away from the uh, the ribbons, so I'm not gonna have any problems with it. This one's actually poking out lengthwise a little bit more than I want, so I'm gonna push it up in just a little bit. But again, that that glue is gonna secure it in place exactly how I want. So. Okay, next. You can go ahead and uh, start to put the ribbons back together. Take the tape off. The tape not only holds them uh, out of harm's way, but can end up being a protector as well. So I'm going to fold this one back over. And these things should just pop in pretty easily. You can hear that pop. All right, once you get those two, go ahead and do this one back in. not to get your wires and the, uh, the glue there. All right, and at this point, you're basically ready to uh, to put the shell back on. And so effectively, we would, um, you know, just plug this in, put that on. Um, I'm gonna let this dry for a little while before we do anything else, so. Uh, we'll come back after it's dry, and then we'll, uh, we'll put things back on. Okay, so now my uh, my liquid electrical tape is dried. Um, there you go. And then the epoxy that I put in here is is very dried as well. Um, a lot of guys are giving me flack for taking out one of the support structures there. I totally get it. Um, with the epoxy, we're actually putting all three of those back together, and it's pretty firm. Um, <clears throat> here are the the two power leads. They're um, fairly hard to move so they'll stay exactly where we need to but they will bend um, exactly how we want so here's how they look probably the, the best view I can give you guys Okay, so only uh, <clears throat> a couple last little odds and ends to, to button it back up. Uh, we've got this thing, <clears throat> so we can go ahead and, uh, and actually this is probably easier if you put it back on before those two ribbons, but we'll go ahead and just put it back on. It's, it's not too bad. It should just fit right in place. It's got some little cutouts in the different areas that it needs to be in. Back in place there. Just push it down with your finger. And it's good to go. And from here it's uh <clears throat> it's really simple and straightforward. We're just basically gonna put the body back on. Um and so or the, the shell. So here's the shell. Uh, go ahead and make sure that connect the the GPS here. So that's the first step. I should just go boom right in place. Just go ahead and set it down. It should just um, very fleshly come into place. I just want to make sure everything lines up. And then we'll push it in place. Um, it should also fit really good right here. You shouldn't have to force it in place or anything. 
And then if you have to put too much force on it, then <clears throat> you probably have cables that are pushing out. Um, and you can definitely push it in, but if you do a nice um, short cable job like I did, you measure it and then solder it, and you shouldn't have that problem. Okay, so we've got it all <clears throat> pressed together. And now we're just gonna go ahead and put our screws back in. Um, remember when we talked earlier, we have some uh, some shorter screws, we got some longer screws. Um, so just make sure that you you keep those two shorter screws out so that you uh, you know you don't put them in the wrong spot. You wanna make sure they go back in the panel cover on the outside. Okay, now flip it over and we can do the uh, the other screws here. I'm gonna do these two first. And at this point you should have only six screws left. There should be four long and two short. these little <coughs> side panels back in. The small screws go in the panels. All right, now we've got it back together completely and you are good to go um, the one other thing that I would recommend is put your battery in now we're gonna go ahead and do a, a test power on we've got a voltometer here and so I'm gonna test both of my, my leads. So I've got these. Just pop up five of them, right? All right, I got good volts there. Check the other one. All right, we've got good volts there. I already tested for continuity earlier. So I wasn't too worried about that. <clears throat> I knew everything was gonna work. Uh, so we got a good power on. Uh, at that point, guys, you're done. Um, the only things left to do are to put your uh, your dual lock Velcro stick on here on the sides, which I've got a different video on, um, but that's it. Good job, you guys.